the idea that a chakra can get blocked or unblocked is a misnomer. (laughs) And I'll say this because like I've used the words blocked and unblocked in explaining chakras, right? And I do that because it's colloquially known as such that a chakra can get blocked and unblocked. It's more so, I want people to think of it more so as balanced or unbalanced, Mm -hmm. right? So it's about bringing it back into balance, but it's not, it's not a block. It's balance and imbalance. Um, One thing that can actually help you to balance all of your chakras um, indiscriminately, I'll say, is meditation. Having a regular meditation practice can really help to align yourself and bring peace to yourself and really help you center and bring calm into your life in general. And it's really interesting because a lot of people think like, oh, meditation, that's only going to assist me spiritually. It does help you spiritually. And um, physiologically, a meditation has been scientifically proven to help reduce stress levels, mm-hmm. right? When we are, when we have high stress, we have high cortisol levels. When we have Um, when we're meditating and we lower our stress, we're also lowering our cortisol levels, which then interacts with all of our different hormones in our body, especially for women. Cortisol has a direct correlation to progesterone levels. So if you're having troubles with your periods or like, um, you know, hormonal things or or lots of uh, PMS and things like that, that could be the direct, you know, correlation of having too much stress in your life. And reducing that stress can be achieved through meditation, through regular meditation practice.